Hi, it's Jeff here at Prompt Parts. We're just here at our annual dealer training where we um, get technicians from around New Zealand to, um, to come and we teach them about our products and um, technical information. So today we're just going to be talking about NEMA 2000 and how to correctly configure the NEMA 2000 backbone and how to test for correct termination. Okay, so here we've set up a NEMA 2000 um, network so that we can do some testing on it. So this is a correctly configured NEMA 2000 network with termination at each end. So the really important thing about N2K networks is a terminator at each end of the backbone. You don't want it in any of the drops. So a correctly configured network has a terminator at the end of the T connector, which is on the end of the backbone. The drop cables are running off that. They go to your devices. The backbone will continue along to any other points in the boat or the vessel that you'd need to have um, some devices. Drops coming off those T's and then a terminator at the end of it. So I've made up a little test harness for, for, for easily testing networks. So I just got a standard drop cable, cut the ends off it, and then crimp some connectors on it. And I use this to plug into the backbone, and then we connect our multimeter to these points and do the resistance check. So terminators in a NEMA 2000 network are 120 ohms. So with two terminators on the network, you can measure the network communication cables and it should equal 60 ohms plus or minus an ohm so 59 to sort of 61 ohms is what you're looking for if you don't have that value if you've got 120 ohms you've only got one terminator if you have more than 60 ohms like 40 um, or below or sorry less than 60 ohms like 40 or below it shows that you've probably got two or more terminators in the network and you need to find that and fix it so we get our multimeter set to ohms and simply plug in to the two communication cables which are white and blue plug that in and measure our meter so on this it's showing that we've got 40 ohms so that's not correct it shows that there's another um, terminator in the network or in this case there's actually another device in the network that has built-in termination now, that's quite common in boats um, masthead sensors are common items to have termination in because you don't want to run two cables up and back from a masthead so you'd use the masthead sensor as the terminator at the end of the network so that would have to go on the on the ex one extreme end of the backbone so this device here has that termination built into it so i'm going to remove that device out of the network and measure the resistance again So that's showing 60 ohm, so that's a perfectly terminated network. And just to show what it looks like with one terminator, we'll remove one terminator from the network, retest it, and that's showing 120 ohms. So if we go and pull the other terminator off, and measure that. That's an open circuit. So it's really important and a simple test to do if you have any communication issues on your network or if you've just done a fresh installation, it's really important to have the device powered down, grab one of these cables, cut the end off to use it. You don't want to probe into the connectors because you can spread the pins open. So configure all of the network, plug it all in, plug in your meter and confirm that you've got 60 ohms and you'll be good to go. Thanks very much everyone. Um, so that concludes today. So if you want to find more information uh, or look at the parts we have available, visit www.promptparts.co.nz.